imagery. Okay, so now you, okay, yes, you brought my boy up now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay, so again, um, symbolism is clearly here. Yes. Okay. So, so Montu mm -hmm. is holding the unk. Yeah, you see the unk right here in his hand, right here. Yeah. yeah. He's holding it. He's holding the wa scepter. In his other hand, the wa scepter, right? The forward okay, hand. See, right. You see the the head of you see the headdress, the two plum you feathers. The two plum feathers right there. And Ra. And Ra, so the circular sun is yep. right there. You see that? Yeah. He's also a, and he also has his name engraved. So we talked a little bit about that earlier before in other shows. Right. right? But this is very descriptive because what this is saying to us is lots of symbolism has circulated or created what Montu is. Yeah. What he becomes. Yeah. So he's that nature, right? Mm -hmm. That has power. Mm -hmm. And you see the key of life. Yeah. Giver of okay? life. Yeah. That's a lot of power there yeah. for him to behold. He has both of those at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and even with raw symbols, so you're repping some serious power right here. Yes, and be and below, just uh, right on the the uh, the leg, there is the weapon that he has also there too. If you can see that, is that behind his leg there that I'm looking at? Correct. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see that there. Okay, so he's already armed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Clearly, all the way to the T. Yeah. Right, and that that's letting you know exactly what he represents in every form. Yeah. Montu is so always Montu, ready to go. Yes. Yeah, that so, was his role. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so a lot of people may not know this, but we'll talk more about this later. But I want to say that every time you're looking at Montu, it's everything of plurality. Okay. There yes. Are many Montus. Yes, there are many Montus. Again, yes. what you're saying. Yes. Yes. So it all depends on the you know the time period. So we talk about four golden ages. Mm hmm. They have 33 dynasties. Which one are you talking about? But anytime you see Montu in any of these dynasties, he's going to look something like this. Right. Okay. And that's why you see that quail bird all the time, because I like to look something very specific. And that always means something more than one. Okay. All depends on where it's at and who it's at and who is actually in authority at that particular time period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, mythology is always affected by history so it's important simple, to understand yeah. the history before we can really understand the mythology because it'll tell you who the ruler was what their motivations were what was going on during that time period whether they were at war or at peace or there were famine or whatever was going on that's why it was important to kind of be able to tie your history in with that as well well yeah because when you look at a month two like this particular one it says that particular nasu um, flew upon his enemies and with his with his talons ripped his enemies to pieces. Right. Right. Okay. That's a specific suit they're referring to. Extremely specific. Extremely yes. specific. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll have another one that talks about bull strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you have another one that talks about lion strength. Right. Right. Okay. Different so so it all depends, right? But they're all talking about Muntu in different forms. Yeah. Again, in different okay. character, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. I like that. You know, you sent this one over to me, and this, of course, this is one of my boys right here. I always love talking.